Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here, and welcome back to another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. Today, I am jumping into the new event, and I'm going to be showing you guys a guide for how to take down the now hardest fight available. That is the M2 Star, King of the Raging Battlefield. I guess this is technically the EX2 Rathalos fight, but they're trying to do it in the Monster Hunter style. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to take this down today without Cloud, without Zack, no lightning weapons really whatsoever. I'm going to be taking this down completely with Materia. I tried to get my power down below 180,000, but as you can see, even dropping Materia and sub weapons, it's just too hard for me. 180k is just a little low with the things that I am bringing in this team. That being said, I am going to be bringing in Red 13, Aerith, and Tifa into this fight. Now let's jump up here. Let's take a look at Rathalos himself. One of my favorite monsters from the Monster Hunter franchise. He's going to be weak to lightning and resistant to fire. His immunities are going to be poison, darkness, silence, stun, fatigue, and fog. However, partially through the fight, or for periods, interim periods of the fight, he's going to be immune to magic defense, physical defense down, I believe. Um, now, he's going to use powerful fire element magic ability so having magic defense and fire resistance is going to be really important in this so you guys will see how i'm specking in the back end of my characters he's going to have a force gauge here where it can be depleted by using magic abilities um, which is interesting because most of the lightning weapons in the game are physical so it's forcing you to kind of bring a hybrid team in my case i'm just going to spec a fully magic team and it's going to make it a lot easier all right so by de fully depleting the gauge it will trigger data purge which will eventually which will essentially stagger him it's going to uh break his physical and magical defense and give you a good window of opportunity to do some damage. Poison resistance and fire resistance are going to be effective against this enemy. Although I'm not sure poison resistance is even a thing at this point in the game. Maybe it is. If, if it is, let me know. I, I can't remember any gear that has poison resistance on it. All right. Now going back to the team setup right here. Red 13 is going to be essentially my main DPS slash imperiler slash uh magic defense aoe buffer so going into this fight you're going to want to have a few things you're going to want to have an aoe healer all right you're going to want to have a magic attack breaker you're going to want to have a magic defense aoe up buffer whether that's matt or red and then you're also going to want and some kind of imperil uh weapon right so let's go over where i am slotting these things that you're going to need for this fight so for red 13 i'm just running him his standard costume right out the gate ramu judgment bolt right here we have the seaside caller here for the imperil at ob8 level 80 and then i'm also running the sleet caller for the magic defense aoe up right here all right for his materia i'm running cura and just a thundara right here now jumping over to Aerith, i'm running here the rosy battle garb since she is primarily my healer slash off dps healing wind for the limit break fairy tail in the main slot and Sun Umbrella in the sub slot right here for a little bit of damage. She is going to be running Healing Asuna Poison. Rathalos can poison you. However, it is a single target attack, so you only need to run one Healing Asuna Poison Materia. Okay, other than that, we're going to have another Thundara Magic focused on Aerith as well. Then jumping over to Tifa. Tifa is going to be over here. She's just going to be kind of here doing uh, Magic DPS as well. So I spec'd her in her uh, water arcanum setup so this is a magic setup and um, but essentially throughout the fight i use a lot of thundaras with tifa anyway i just wanted to bring her out in this costume because i mean come on look at it it's amazing all right so we're going to run her with the water arcanum uh leviathan's tidal wave at level five we have the bunny gloves right here at ob2 and the important tiger fangs here for the magic attack break in the fight so it's important to have that i'm going to slaughter with akira and another magic focused thundara now if we jump over to the back end of the characters here you'll see red 13 sitting at 94k power 12.6 k hp 2k magic attack he's got 105 physical defense but more importantly 154 magic defense for his r abilities we're focusing hp magic attack magic defense 
lightning potency right here, which is super important. Now for his sub weapons, I am running the SSR 1976 for HP lightning potency and also the CC allies alloy sword for magic attack lightning potency right here. All right, so that is going to be red 13 setup for Aerith right here. She'll be sitting at 81 K power, 9.1 K HP. She's got 2.5 K magic attack. 109 physical defense, but more importantly, 193 magic defense and 2.3k healing right here. Her R abilities are going to focus healing, magic attack, magic defense, healing stat. We've got some fire resist and some magic ability potency right here as well. All right. Now, if we look at her sub weapons, we've got the lifeguard wraps. We've also got the beach parasol right here, HP magic defense. Lifeguard wraps are great because they have healing and fire resistance on them, which is great for this fight, especially for your healer. And last but not least, we have the Bahamut knuckles, boost HP and magic defense as well, which is why she's rocking that crazy magic defense stat. Now, last but not least, we have Tifa Lockhart, 65k power, 8.3k HP. She's got 2.3k magic attack. 115 physical defense and 126 magic defense. Her R abilities are going to include HP, magic attack. We've got some magic defense, a little bit of crit, water potency. We've got the arcanum, level three fire resistance, and ma and boost magic ability potency level two right here. All right, for her sub weapons, I'm just running the if or the uh, Shiva sword from Cloud, HP, fire resistance and the thousand waves right here as well just to give her a little more survivability you could also run the power soul that would be great on her you could turn her more into a dps but for this build this is going to work just fine i just wanted to make sure that she had enough survivability for this fight though i'm pretty sure that it's survivable at 6k hp or 6.5k hp and more all right that being said guys there's not much else that's not much else to say i'm just going to get straight into the fight i'm going to show you guys how to be it with just materia if you happen to have zach's new weapon if you happen to have murasame if you happen to have those arcanums it's going to be a lot easier this is for all you people that don't have those things and are still trying to get the win all right so going into this fight he's going to stun you right before 4 atb boom right there just like right before it right it's just got to be right before it Red is going to imperil right here. Uh, Tifa is going to. Aerith is going to drop Nightbloom. And we are just going to start dropping these Thundaras. I am going to break his magic attack here in a second. All right, I probably should have done that first. All right, so let's go. Let's break that magic attack. All right, I'm going to Nightbloom again. And Red is going to keep on using these Thunder abilities. But essentially, what we're doing is breaking this bar before he gets it fully off. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna imperil one more time. That's gonna give us what we need in order to break the bar right here. Ooh, we barely missed it. All right, so hopefully you guys can break that bar. I was able to do it easily on the time before. Uh, so we'll see if we can salvage this fight at this point. All right, so let's see here. I'm gonna jump over to Aerith. We are going to heal. I don't want to break it quite yet just because he's literally about to uh i want to make sure that we're good to go all right so there it is he's gonna get a massive stagger right here all right perfect and now we're just gonna open up on damage on this guy all right i'm gonna wait for the power fang right here and then we're just going to unload Thundaras on this guy. Now, it doesn't look like we're doing very much damage, and we're not. This is a not a super long fight, but with the summons, you'll see that we definitely pick up our damage in the end. I'm going to switch over here, drop a heal on Aerith. All right. And we are just going to continue doing our thing. All right, so I'm going to drop a magic attack break on Tifa right here in a second. He's going to stun us right there. He's going to get his magic attack up as is his won't. All right, so there we go. We're gonna go with that. Okay, and let's see if we can actually get off this uh, magic, his break right here. Okay, so we can get off the break, that's fantastic. Um, Red 13 got poisoned, so I'm going to heal him right there. And I'm gonna heal him one more time and hopefully get off the mono ward. Boom, all right, so it's good to get off that magic defense up buff before he does this attack. It'll really help your overall survivability. As you can see, it did way less damage that time. All right, so now we have our actual breaks going on. So I'm just going to go straight into the into the summons right here since he's fully imperiled and he's got the physical defense, magic defense down. 
All right, and as you can see, your summons are where you're really going to pick up that extra damage because we're using materials right here, and they are definitely weaker than a lot of the other weapons. All right, so there's Leviathan right there. So now we've got the boss pretty close to half HP. Um, I'm going to drop two Thundaras right here on Tifa. Red 13 is going to save ATB and then use that. I'm going to block this attack, heal up to full right here. And we are looking pretty dang solid here, guys. Just going to keep on breaking him right now. I'll get one upper shot off. Going to keep on going with the Thundaras right here. All right. And as you can see, now we've gotten into our flow a little bit. All right. I'm going to switch over. We're going to get a heal. All right. I'm going to use Power Fang. He interrupted me right there. And here we go. Here we go. All right, we're going to Power Fang. I need to heal Red 13's poison. All right, we're not going to get off the magic defense up right here. So at the very end, I'm just going to switch over. We're going to drop Healing Wave right before his attack. All right, and then we're just going to wait it through. So the bar doesn't come back. Once you break it once, it doesn't. It looks like it doesn't return. You can't stagger him again uh, because I think that's what gets you the better rewards in the fight. After that, we're just going to go straight into Night Bloom. Red 13 is going to apparel again. And we're just going to fully spam our Thundaras on basically every single character here, including Aerith. All right, try to block those attacks when you can. It will greatly uh, reduce your overall healing in the battle if you can do it. Man, those stuns are annoying. But they are just like Monster Hunter. When they roar, they stun you. All right, so we're going to block that. I'm going to switch over here to Aerith. We are going to get a heal. Prepare for this. We're going to do the magic attack break right now. And then with Red 13, we're just going to drop Mono Ward right here. All right, so pretty simple, guys. Breaking the magic attack, raising the magic defense, keeping your HP up, and just doing as much magic lightning damage as possible is really going to make this fight so much more easier. All right, so we're going to Night Bloom right here. And from here, we should be really close to getting our summons back. There's Tifa's. It just popped. Red 13's is about to as well. All right, so I'm just going to keep on using some of these uh, Thundaros right here. We're going to block his attack. He's fully imperiled right now. I'm going to drop it one more time just for the uh, Ramu right here. And right after this attack, let's see... Red 13 is going to get his ju his summon right here, and we are going to take down the M2 star Rathalos fight right here, right now. No Murasame, no Zenogre Blade. All right, it is doable. I'm not sure if this method is going to be doable for the technically what is the EX3 version of this fight. Um, I will do my best, although I'll probably has to have to bring Murasame maybe without the Arcanum just to beat that one, but we'll have to see next week. So far, this fight isn't looking too terrible, and it's not like we're going to get a crash version of it, at least during this event. So other than that, it seems like it should be pretty overall, like more or less not terribly hard to take down. That being said, if you guys have any questions about this fight, you know, about a team setup, something different, I'm happy to help you guys with that. I always am. I answer everyone's comments. Um, if it is something more complicated or you have a more in-depth question about the game, how to wishlist things, what to do, if you're a newer player, I can understand that this game is a lot to take in. So we do have a Discord. It's called the Curseborn Discord. You can find a link in the description of all my videos. We have a huge player base in there coming together. We're going to be setting up guilds, multiple guilds, in order to get everyone a home. So you guys should come. You're welcome. And we will help you as much as you can with the game. That being said, if you guys enjoyed this video today, and I hope you did, don't forget to drop a like and to subscribe to the channel for more Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis content. That being said, hope you all have a wonderful night. Take care and peace.